People, 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 welcome back to Red Button Journal. Good morning. <laughs> Today, I'm going to go for a little stroll down the road, maybe see a few things I talked about yesterday. You'll actually get to see firsthand. But anyway, as I go down the road, I see up on, see how the goats love to get in people's yards and get up on the rocks. They just love that. Also, uh, I've gone back to my original camera settings today because now y'all like seeing the wheels make sure I was keeping them on the ground which keeping your wheels on the ground in the Jamaican roads is not is sometimes easier said than done so we will we will admit that but part of the reason here is I want to try another one today I want to try a different setting because the camera setting I used yesterday although you could see my wheels were still on the ground I wasn't crazy about the it seemed jerky the video seemed all choppy and jerky so uh, I don't have it set up with the new setting yet but I'm gonna try it here in a little bit and just see how it goes see if the see if it's clear or not but in the meantime, we'll just walk along this old desolate road, go down to where the cattle, the cattle are grazing. And also, I may walk all the way to the place what I was telling you that we had to kind of like Ford a Creek, but it's not, anybody watching this that knows this area, it's not the one you're thinking of. It's not really a creek. So we're gonna watch it. And, walk down here and talk I've had man I'm in bad shape this this flu and cold I had really took it out of me you know and I just breathing hard Whew. but I am old you know I'm getting old I got to keep reminding myself I'm getting old and I'm going for a walk in the heat of the day but I got to get my video out to my peoples. My peoples got to have a video. I've shown you all this over here on the one side. Huh. It almost looks like somebody's car I know over there. Anyway, I've shown you all this, so I don't need to show you that anymore. But I'm soon to be in the shade, people. See this up here? I will soon be in the shade. You will see this nice, nice shadiness. And believe me, you, I'm looking forward to it. Because the because the temperature in the sun is hot. But as soon as you walk into this peaceful bamboo forest, the temperature drops about 15 degrees. I kid you not. You can probably see it on my face. You can probably see it on my face already. Just the difference in the temperature makes me happy. Happy, happy, happy. Well, I see some vehicle tracks here. And I'm a little bit surprised by that. Because I didn't think vehicles went down here anymore. I thought it was just motorcycles. So maybe there's hope that the road I was telling you about yesterday... The shortcut to Rocky Point, I'll be able to start taking it again. Because, yeah, there's definitely some. Here comes Carl, it looks like. My good buddy Carl. Yes, sir. Nope, wasn't Carl. As soon as he got up close, I could see it wasn't Carl. So anyway, I don't have my glasses or nothing with me today. I'm just in the raw, in the raw, 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 people. Huh. Listen to the birds. I'm sure you can hear them. I've got my wind muffler on. But to be honest... There's not a bit of wind. 
and I could stand a little bit. Just a little bit more breeze would be a nice thing about now. Okay, people, I'm going to stop my camera and I'm going to turn it to this new setting that I wanted to try. We'll just see how that goes. Okay, people, I'm back. Woo! See how I'm all zoomed in? Now, hopefully this won't be all herky-jerky and such. There is a second shedding I could maybe try here in a little bit. But, man, I stood there for just a little while doing the settings. And even though it's still in the morning and the sun's well in the sky, must be 10 o'clock or something, the mosquitoes, the nasty skeeters, Started eating on me. Boy, they see me from a long way coming. Anyway, let me show you down the road here so you can see this new setting. You can see how it shows my face a lot bigger. Well, this fat head didn't get any fatter. I'm sorry to say. Or happy to say. But I got it more zoomed in. Let's try this. Okay. So... Okay, something, something's wrong here on the settings. I gotta stop this and, and change something. Okay. <laughs> if I slap that mosquito off of my camera, I'll turn it off. Okay, I think, I think that fixed it. I had some sort of a something on my screen, so I locked my screen back. It had a little some sort of a focus thing that I've never used. Or maybe it was a sort of a tracking. I don't know what it was, but I got it turned off now. But I think, yeah, I'm more zoomed in. So anyway, this might be boring to some of you, this big camera test adventure. <laughs> but at the same time, some of you might just find the beauty worth listening to the jabber over. So if you can handle the jabber, you get to see the beauty. But if you can't handle the jabber, oh, now look at this. Now look at this. This here used to be all full of water and I couldn't cross here. I had to go up this, see, see down here? This was all full of water and I couldn't cross here. And I used to drive up here, right along this road here. And let me just go up here and show you what I was up was I contended against. So now the videos might get interesting. I don't see a single cow or bull or steer or anything in between. I used to follow this track up here. And if I go like this, I don't know if you can see behind me over my left shoulder your right side of the screen you can maybe see the little motorcycle track going up there that was not there before because you couldn't cross there it was full of water but it's been a dry summer you know but we've had some good rain here lately in fact yesterday when it rained there was water in the gully which we haven't seen water in the gully for a while so but yeah it looks like i could drive this because somebody else had been driving it Although I don't know how far down they go. But if they go all the way to this other road, whew. See, people, I get to pant and just taking a little hill like that. You know? That's not right. I'm just in such poor shape. I don't know what kind of plants those are there no idea really so anyway hopefully the quality of this setting is good now let me show you what happens when I when I turn it upside down it goes upside down <laughs> so if I want to show the road upside down what I'll have to do is just do it manually which I might 
do a little bit on the screen and I'll say I've, I've done it manually if I try that. So, <laughs> <clears throat> so anyway, that other out, that other setting, it turns out I have to zoom in closer for it not to jump around, it seems. Oh man, that there now, that might be a cow, you know, I was seeing a motorcycle path over there, but it could be equally caused by the cattle, you know? Okay, people, I'm on a downhill run. I'm gonna have to clear my throat here in a minute. So I'll have to cut this out. There we go. All right, people, you know, I shoulda, I shoulda brought some of that lemon water because although I was beginning to be fearful that maybe that was causing me part of my problem, I was also realizing that maybe I was wrong about something and it was actually helping me. But you didn't used to see any of these fences with barbed wire up in here. But I think, I think this is uh, the JC, Jamaica, no, JSC land, Jamaica Sugar Company, which is a government deal. And so they, they're leasing this. And so once people lease a little section, then they come up and put a little fence around it, keep their cattle in and keep their goats in their area so they don't trouble other people. If they want to plant a little something, see some of these areas that are fenced in are pretty bushed up. What kind of... Back in foreign, we used to call this a, it's kind of like a locust tree, but not, I know it's not, it, that's not what it is. I saw a little tiny bird up there I wanted to show you, but he's taken off. He's taken off. Whoop, I hear a mosquito on my ear. See the butterflies? Can you see those with my new camera setting? Or is it just a blur? We shall find out. Anyway, what do I have to talk about today? I looked last night at my list of places to go, and I got 50 places on the list, and they're all about different parts of Jamaica. Now, if I do one video every day and do one of those every day, I could be done in less than two months and have to start a new list. But the reality is, as I do those things, I find new places to film, or due to convenience, I'll film them. Like the other day, I wanted to do the the Duckinsfield, the Duckinsfield, Duck and Field, Duck and Field. I got to be sure I say that right. Duck and Field. Well, I don't remember this being so bushed up right here. I do not remember this being so bushed up right here. Huh. Uh, not at all. Not at all like this. Well, anyway, the Duckins Field, the Duckin, the Duckin Field, yeah, no S, no K, and no N, or no, there's a K, but there's no, there's no N. It's not Dunkin' Donuts, it's Duckin Field. There we go. So, Appreciate the viewer that pointed that out. My wife points it out and I don't listen to her, but when a viewer says something, then I get all over that. <laughs> uh, okay. So anyway, um, when I went down there, I was just going to do the factory. And then I changed to doing the, the sugar estate. And by the time we were done, we did the next video and drove on down to the lighthouse. And we didn't even know if they'd be open. So you never know from one minute to the next. You can hear the bikemen on the road. They have to speak up so they can hear each other over their motors. Oh, this is a beautiful view. This is a beautiful view. That is 
the water tower and I want to go up there one day to that water tower and take some video close up oh see a big old John Crow sitting up on top of it I don't know if y'all can see that or not but anyway that water tower is the Cheswick rum estate or whatever it was water tower there used to be a distillery down here a sugar factory distillery back a long long time ago long 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 time ago and that was the water tower for the for the Chiswick rum estate or estate uh, a few years ago I looked all that up and knew all the details but to be quite honest with you I've forgotten it now so I've forgotten it but just up here a little bit I'll cross back over and I'll walk up and I'll show you the foundation of that old factory so that'll be fun to see assuming I can assuming I'm on the right road here so plus I'll get back in the shade over there I can get back in the shade on that road and walk all the way back around to where I saw that road that looked like new motorcycles had been able to cross that they hadn't before and so I'll cross here yep it certainly looks like I could definitely take this road I don't see a problem with it at all so people if you're tuning in today tell me how this setting looks I can't do all that fancy dancy showing my tires are still on the ground video but I can get a closer look when I'm driving by those luxury homes that I love to go past and you all be able to see in the yard better and maybe this isn't the right setting maybe it's somewhere in between my old setting and my new setting and maybe this one's all jumpy but we're gonna see somebody's got some land up in there too see the road goes up in there but here's the road that I used to go on there used to be a spot right over here where you had to really hit the gas to get through or you get stuck and I don't see that either so we could easily easily come this way and all we have is a little bit of you know a little water on the road it's not going to hurt nothing because my subi can go right through that stuff okay i can't stop here people because the skeeters will just up and carry me out they'll just up and carry me off Now, why don't I hear birds in here? Something's not right. Did not hear a single bird. Those bikemen spook them with their motors? Maybe. Maybe. Okay, people. We're going to venture in here. Anyway. And hopefully, this is wise to go in here, because we don't know. And I want to show you this old sugar factory, a small one that also made rum. You see the walls up in there? See them up in there? See the old, old walls up in there? And that tower up on the hill provided the water they needed. Yes, sir. You can't even see it, it's so steep up there. Can't even see up in there. Oh, and look here, there was a wall here and the road goes right over it. See that? See that, my people? See that? Mm-hmm. Isn't that something? And then you can see the corner here. See how the, the rocks a big heavy walk, rock wall turn, turns a corner. Yep. This is history, people. 
This is history. Big history in here. And I was hoping I could see the water tower up in there, but I sure don't. Now there used to be a long in through here somewhere. Whoo, look at me sweating this humidity. There used to be a place up in here where people grew some, some coconut. They had a big, tall coconut grove. Okay, farmers and fishermen alike use this road to go about their business. And as I was saying in yesterday's video, a lot of people, it's very, makes a lot of sense to use those motorcycles. And when you look at the road, you can sure see why. I mean, I had a motorcycle, but I don't know if I ever told you all about my motorcycle. It's kind of one of my funnier stories, maybe. Maybe not so funny. I, the first day I got it, the very first day I had it, I decided to go for a little drive. Of course, I'm gonna go for a drive. Well, I hadn't ridden a motorcycle for, Close to 50 years, people. I hadn't ridden a motorcycle for close to 50 years. So, anyway, I was going down the, the main road right there in Chiswick. And old Papel, my bike man, he used to repair my bike for me. His dad was coming down towards me. There's a little curve in the road. And old, and old, old Martin, or however you say his name right. I never can get it right. Madge always has to correct me. Anyway, he came around that corner and I hit my brakes. And the front end of my motorcycle slid out from underneath me because I apparently had a little bit too much pressure on the front brake compared to the back brake. And hit that loose gravel and I crashed. Had a bruise on my leg for the longest time. Black and blue. Tore up my pants and my shirt. Anyway... Mashed up my bike. So, actually, you know, Papel wasn't my bike man yet because I didn't need a bike man. Well, after after crashing my bike on the very first day I had it, I needed a bike man. And that's how I met Papel. And he became my, my personal bike man. And we about lost him a couple years ago in a bike accident. And, uh, but we got him back. And, and he... Does a little work over in Port Morant. Let me make sure I say it clear so you all know I'm not saying Portmore. I'm saying Port Morant. Port Morant. Morant. Port Morant. There. I got to practice that because I have trouble saying it the right way. And then people, <laughs> the number of people that can't understand me, you'd like to know. All right. Now, what's this here? This one little shortcut. And that's not the one I want to take. I want to go up in here, people. Maybe we'll get a glimpse of the ocean up in here. All right. Anyway, I kept dropping and dropping and dropping. One day I dropped and the motorcycle fell on top of me and I couldn't get it off of me. And fortunately, we had a man working on the yard by the name of Ageable came down and took it off of me. And I was laughing so hard, you know me. I love to laugh, even though I'm laying on the ground, a little bruised, and the motorcycle's laying right on top of me. And Ageable came and picked the bike up, and the next man came along, I think it might have been Carl, my friend Carl, and he drove it up where it needed to be. And Madge started bugging me, said, you need to sell that bike because you're surely going to kill yourself. And of course, that just made me more 
more determined not to sell the bike. But I finally sold it, got rid of it. And I lived happily ever after, people. So I used to be a bike man back when I was young. But I never owned my own. I take it back, I owned a little scooter one time that didn't have a muffler. It had a two-stroke engine and used to ride it around the house. So it sounded like a chainsaw in the yard, day and night, till the neighbor, bless their hearts, came over real nice and asked my mom, if maybe I could not just ride that motorcycle all around the house, time and time again, day and night. And so she agreed and I had to quit doing that. And I sold that to a kid that lived down the street. So, and he, I think he went and ordered a muffler and all kinds of stuff. He ended up later on getting a Kawasaki. One of those Kawasaki's that had the, had the gears where once you went past fifth, you could go into, into neutral again. Just to go all the way around. Remember those? Oh, I'm dating myself now. That was a long, long, long time ago. And I'm walking up the hill now. Oh, did you all see my shirt? You gotta look at my sweaty shirt. See it? Spam. That's my spam shirt. All right. Whew. Well, I hope you all don't get tired of my breathing hard. Because if you do, you're going to hate this video. Ah. There we go, people. There we go. If I walk, if I went up this little path here, I'd go up to that water tower. But I don't have the stamina to do much more and go home. But you can see the sea out there. And if you look back over here, I hope you can see it. Let me hold the camera real still. And I might have to zoom in again, but you can see the lighthouse from here. You can see the lighthouse and I'm not far from home. So you can easily see why it is that I can, sometimes at night, I have to look out and see, okay, you know, is, that, is it lightning or is that the lighthouse? It could be one or the other. There's the Caribbean Sea, people. You can see the waves breaking on the reef out down there. That's what you call foul bay. Like foul, like the bird. Not like the smell. Oh no, it is like the smell. Now that I rethink it. Holy smoke, where did you get a name like that? That's not right. I gotta, I gotta Google it, I don't even know the name. So, when in doubt, make stuff up. That's my motto. When in doubt, make stuff up. That way I can't get up all worked up over anything because there's a high probability that I made it up. Woo! You see the sweat on my brow? Oh, the curse of Adam. Sweat. <clears throat> Women sweat too, though, so they got a double whammy. They got the pain in childbirth and they got sweat. So that doesn't hardly seem right. You know, you're going to be dishing out, you know, certain curses or penalties or whatever you want to call it for being human. You ought to make it even. None of that woman discrimination. But I'm a Bible believing, God fearing person. So please don't get all worked up about me the way I'm talking silliness because. That's not who I am. I'm just, I'm just a big joker. God made me a joker and I'm happy to be a joker. And I'm happy to be here. Oh, there's a, there's a couple cows and an egret on the road down there. I don't know if you can all see it or not. But anyway, let's turn back here down this path that takes me back down to the first bamboo walk that I took you on that goes along the gully. Yes, sir. Isn't that beautiful? You can see a house up on 
Hill 60 in the distance, possibly you can see that one. You can see the Caribbean Sea behind me. And if I walk a little further down the path, you'll see the Blue Mountains in the distance. And you'll see the John Crow Mountains a little bit closer up to where we're at. Or maybe those are Blue Mountains too. They look, they look pretty blue. So I don't know why the different names, but maybe someday I'll study up on that and give you all a, a reminder course. Oh, the clouds have come out. The clouds have come out and the breeze has come up, coming up this hill. I don't want to go home, people. I was so hot and sweaty and tired. I wanted to end this video, get home. But now I could just stand here and enjoy God's beauty all day long. Look at this. Look at this. If this doesn't make you this doesn't make you believe in God and even fear him just like those waves you know over at the lighthouse would make a person fear God it's the same way right here it's the same way I'm gonna try another setting while I'm right here so I can do a little comparison for myself but I'll keep y'all in it okay people I'm back with this new setting as you can see it takes me in, or takes me out a little bit further. You can still see the mountains, but you, they look a lot farther away now. And this is kind of an in-between setting I wanted to consider. But unfortunately, none of these settings are going to include that, keeping track of whether my wheel's on the ground or not, and I do apologize for that. So let me go ahead and try the next setting now. See how that one goes. Okay, there we go with the next setting. That should be even a tighter view. And so even the mountains look further. People, the wind let up on this on this bluff that I'm standing on the edge of. And if and I can hear the ocean. You I doubt if you can hear it because I have my my wind adjustment on and so it's probably gonna get rid of that, but I can hear the ocean from here. Loud and clear. It's just so beautiful. Now you see this, my motorcycles go up and down here. I'll be honest with you people, my motorcycle never went up and down here. At least not while I was on it, because I would have dropped for sure. A couple times I came out here trying to get my nerve up to run my motorcycle right up to the top of this. Not that it's all that steep or anything, but I'd try to get my nerve up. Well, I never got my nerve to go all the way. I probably came up partway a few times and then had to back it down carefully so I didn't lay it over on myself where there was nobody to help pick it up. Look at this meadow right up through here. Look at that, people. So, so this is the setting I used to use on my camera, and I appreciate you all being my guinea pigs. If I don't mean that in a derogatory way, but you know, the, in farm... Maybe in Jamaica, too, when you say guinea pigs, you're talking about, you know, being a test subject. So that's what that means. Now, the one path I talked about that you could cut across would have brought me right over here. And I said, no, 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 no. I want to go up to the top of the bluff because I want to see the ocean and I want to get a picture of the lighthouse for everybody, too. So you could kind of see that everything's just close to us, you know. Everything's just close by. I'm just on a walk. Didn't bring my vehicle. So it's just, just right here in nature. Here's some pumpkin growing. I don't see any on it, but I've been around Jamaica long enough to know that's pumpkin. Now watch, I'll get home and maybe you'll have to cuss me because that's not pumpkin. <laughs> She will. She'll straighten me right out. I'm trying to trying to learn the Jamaican culture, people. I'm trying to learn the Jamaican way of life. The way of calling things. You know? I love the culture. I love the people. Most of the time. It's just like anything, I guess you got 
you got bad mines everywhere but they're few and far between most people would give you the shirt off their back if they had their own shirt to give many of them or the shoes off their feet if they had shoes on their own feet many of them wouldn't even have shoes i thought when i first got here you're probably going to laugh at me now when i first came to jamaica i thought you know if i start walking every day without shoes on my feet how long would it take me to get my feet toughened up to where i could do it hey, hey carl what's going on <laughs> just out doing just out doing yeah. a little video brother yes yeah. Nice yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I was just telling the story about the time I dropped in my yard and you rode my bike up yeah. to the top for me. Yeah. I said if it hadn't been for Carl, I don't know how I got it back up there. Yeah, but yeah, <laughs> everything is good though. Everything is good, brother. Yes. Yeah. I'm going to check for the code around there. Alright. Yeah, Bless so. yourself. Bless okay. yourself. Okay, boy. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, he's a really he's a good guy I like Carl. Carl Chambers, beautiful, beautiful soul, undeniable. He's a hard worker too, you know. He takes care of those cows every day, you know. And then he does, I see him doing other things too, you know, other odd jobs and such. So, Anyway, what was I telling about? Oh, give me a second here. When I saw Carl, I lost my train of thought. Oh, well, I'll think about it next time. I always think of these stories. I get telling them and I get sidetracked. And, you know, my memory's not 100%, you know, in case you hadn't noticed. Sometimes I even search for a word now and again. But we keep it real. We keep it entertaining. And we love you. Me and Madge, and sorry, she can't be with us again today. She's got, she said she's gonna mop out the house while I'm out videoing. So that's what's going on with that. You can hear the, you can hear the goat kids hollering, hear them. Well, that was a cow, but. Well, you think they'd do it when I wanted them to? Nope. Oh, maybe you heard that. Yeah, I'll bet you heard that. I hope you did. So. Huh. Man, told me what kind of tree that is the other day with that white bark. You think I could remember? Nope, I sure can't. There's some goats running up there. There's some goats running up there. I'm gonna switch the setting back as I go into town to my to my other one of the other settings. Give me a sec, people. All right, people. Well, the goats pretty much got past me. I wanted to be able to get a closer shot, but this may be the setting I try to use when I do my house tours that I hope to get back to again. So for you viewers and subscribers that like seeing that part of Jamaica will soon be back. I think a lot of people like watching either or. You just, you know, uh, I think I've got a good amount of the diaspora, the Jamaican diaspora in the UK, America, even Australia, and who knows where else around the world that watch my channel. And that responsibility is not taken lightly. And I really try to get a video out every day, and I'm new at this, so it's been a struggle. Yeah, my throat's wanting to phlegm up again on me, but I think it's dehydration more than anything else. Oh, look how I sweat so, people. Look how I sweat so. If you walked underneath me you'd think it was raining but you know the sun's not beating down right now I need to do a walk like this every single day to be honest
not necessarily with the camera i just need to get out and exercise because i spend so much time video editing and replying to comments that i don't and then when we do a video a lot of times we're just driving in the car and so i'm not really getting the exercise the way i should which is something i need to to do i think i'd feel better things like this throat infection thing i got wouldn't be such a problem for me hello goaty goat goat Goats and chickens, all about. You can hear the cattle in the distance. So, anyway, people, I'm going to end it right here. So, thanks for joining me. Be sure and like, share, comment, and subscribe for the latest from Red Button Journal. Until next time, I'll see you later.